one of the formulas that we wrote down in our notes, Mario, that you missed is we talked about when we have a secant line and a tangent line, which you guys can see. You guys can see that here is my tangent line, Camillo, and here is my secant line. So one thing we talked about is there is a relationship between the lengths of a secant and a tangent line. And the relationships went like this, Jessica. We could say that LH squared was equal to LD times LX. That was our relationship, that the length of the tangent line was equal to the length of the secant line to the circle times the whole length of the secant line. All right, So that was one of those formulas that we presented last class period. So now let's just go and figure out what is our length for each. LH is going to be 12 squared equals LD, which is x, times what is this plus this? Right, We're adding x plus x plus 2. So it's this. This length is x. This length is x plus 2. So x plus x plus 2 in algebra 1, we learn how to add combined like terms. Since the x's and the x's are the same like terms, Alexandra, 2x. I can add them to be 2x. 2x so it would be 2x plus, plus 2. Divided by 2 equals x. Then I'm multiplying this by x. So now I have to apply distributive property. I can square the left side. So this is 144 equals 2x squared plus 2x. That's a lot. So now we need to solve this. Now, um, yep. The x, like for the formula, the x right there, is that the x? Oh, I'm sorry. That's LA. Sorry about that. That's probably real confusing. It's L to D to L to A. My apologies. So the length of LD is x. The length of LA is 2x plus 2 because you're combining those two lengths. right? So you got to make sure you add them. And remember, x plus x plus 2 is 2x plus 2. You can combine the x's. Then I apply distributive property. I multiply the both terms. And now I get this. Now, in Algebra 1, we learn there's a problem when you're trying to solve equations and you only have one variable. You isolate the variable. right? You undo the operations that's happening to the x. The problem with this is we have two different variables, or we have the same variable, but we have one that's x squared and one that's x. They're not the same term. One is squared, one is linear. So we can't undo, we can't solve for one of the x's. So when we have an equation that's in this form, which is like a quadratic form with two x's, we have to factor. So to factor, you would have to set it equal to 0. So 0 equals 2x squared plus 2x minus 144. All right. Now to do a problem like this, what I can do is see, is there any GCF I can factor out? And yes, you can factor out a 2. So I'd say 0 equals 2 times x squared plus x minus 72. Is it minus? Yeah. Um, then I can divide out the 2 on both sides. So now I have to be able to see, can I find answers for x squared plus x minus 72? So now I need to go through the factors of 72 and think about what two numbers multiply to give me 72 that would add to give me 1. Huh? What are some numbers that multiply to give me 30, 72? 12. 12 times what? 12 times 6. How about that? Close. Right? However, since it has to be negative, if I make one of these negative and add them, would they give me 1? That one has to be negative. So I do negative 12 times 6. That gives me negative 72. But when I combine those, does that give me 1? No, it gives me negative 6. Right? It doesn't matter if I do it this way. Now it gives me positive 6. So 12 and negative 6 aren't going to work. What are some other numbers that multiply to give me 72? 12. We already did a 12. 12 and 5 is 60. 12 times 6, negative 6. Anybody else? What about 36 and 2? Yeah? Right? What about 4 and 18? But is the difference of any of these 1? When you add or subtract, when you add, subtract on one of these, doesn't matter either way, because one of them has to be negative to multiply to give you negative 72. Is any of these have a difference of 1? No, so none of them are factors. How about 
9 times 8. Yeah. So therefore, remember, one of these has to be negative. If I make the 9 negative, then the difference is negative 1. I want the difference to be a positive 1. So I'm going to make the 8 negative and the 9 positive. Therefore, my factors are x minus 8 times x plus 9. Why? Because remember, when you do the FOIL with Ms. Eldridge, you had negative 8 times 9 is negative 72. And then you multiply those two, multiply those two, inner, outer. And when you apply FOIL, that gives you back that equation. So now I apply the zero product property, x minus 8. Thank you. x minus 8 equals 0, and x plus 9 equals 0. Then I solve x equals 8, x equals negative 9. Since, um, since this difference is going to be positive, we know our value is going to equal 8. OK? Okay.